Hello and welcome to the C4Clicks Project Estimator Training video. Today we're going to look at creating an estimate. Okay, so we're going to see how to do that. We're also going to take a peek at how to change the name of an existing estimate. Kind of give you another quick look and tool there. All right. So when we open up E4Clicks, it opens to our list of projects. In a previous video, we saw how to create a project. Now we need to open that project and add an estimate to it. Okay, so another quick maneuvering lesson before we get too deep in here. We need to find this project here and then open it. Okay, now we remember from our last video that we can come down to the projects button to get our list of projects. We're looking for change in this case, by the way. Or we can right click on it to get our menu options. Again, we can find change right there. We can also, like any normal program, double click on it to drill into it, or we could even use our arrow keys to move up and down, find it, and then hit the enter key. All right, which way works? All of them. Use the one that's most comfortable to you, okay? So now when we open that project, the update project window opens, and we can see that we're on the estimates tab. Now there's a bunch of other estimate or tabs here that we can look at, but for the most part, we're going to do most of our work on estimates, so we open the other. All right, so some of our other other videos may um, look at some of those tabs. All right, so how are we going to create a new estimate? Now, if you said right click, you're on it. We could come down to the estimate button and see our menu options. We'll be looking at the top two here. Or we can hit a right click and we'll see the top two menu options again. Okay, so I'm going to just explain the difference between the two estimates and then we'll walk through the longer way and then we'll see what we got, okay? So the first option is insert an estimate after selecting totaling components, okay? This allows us to put different totaling components or different schema, or different markups on different estimates within our project, which is awesome, okay? It gives you a huge advantage on, on getting the correct totals and everything out there, all right? So, Let's back up one second. Why would you have multiple estimates, okay? Instead of making you put all the line items directly into the project and having 400 line items in a project, what if we gave you the opportunity to make multiple estimates? So you could break up your project by phase, by building, by floor, by division, any way you'd like to break it up, okay? Uh, maybe you want to break up even smaller than that and do um, your switchboards or your panel boards as as an estimate, then you could copy that estimate from project to project and make it super easy to do, okay? So in this case, we're going to go ahead and break it down by division, okay? So we'll do 01 general requirements, 03 concrete, that kind of stuff, all right? So now, looking at the select totaling components, what this allows us to do is so in our case, I think this is a saber job, we could do most of the work during standard hours, but what if we need to do a power outage or something, or take the natural gas down during non-standard hours, okay? So now we could use that different coefficient for that work. So it helps you out real nice, okay? Or maybe you have different subs doing work and you need to do different markups on the different subs to get you your grand total, okay? So that's what this ability, this top one, lets us do. So we can insert an estimate after selecting totaling components, okay? The second option is, hey, I chose my default totaling components on purpose, so I want to just quickly insert this and go to town so I don't have to even worry about looking through my totaling components and choosing one, all right? Now, if you're Bruce, you're going to want to see the hotkeys for these, okay? So if we're going to insert an estimate using our default totaling schema, we're just going to go ahead and be able to hit the insert key on the keyboard if we were back here, okay? So if we were back here, our focus was on our estimates there, we could hit insert and it would open up, all right? And if we were going to choose from our list of totaling components, we could use control and then hit the insert key, so hold both of those down, and it would take us through this process, okay? So there's the hotkey lesson for Bruce and all you people who like hotkeys, all right? So I'm going to walk through this top option and then show you really quickly um, how, which steps we we skip over with the second option. Okay, so when we click on insert estimate after selecting totaling components, we get the select totaling components window. Okay, so this look, should look familiar from the previous video. 
again, we can see our filter buttons down here will allow us to only see the ones that are associated with the contract that we're working on, or we can see all of our active schemas in the whole database, the inactive schemas in our database, or all will show us both the active and the inactive schemas within our database. I'm going to stick with contract, and I'm going to go with non-standard hours just so we can see a difference, okay? I'm going to go ahead and hit select, but we could have right-clicked and hit select, double-clicked, hit enter, all that kind of stuff. And this would be the, where we would go select none if we didn't want any totaling on an estimate. So I'm going to hit select, and I'm going to go 01 general requirements. Okay, so here we can see that we have to name it here, and we're on the inserting new estimate window on the general tab. We name it right here. And then we could put some other information in here that you can take a peek at. And then here are the totaling components that we just chose. We can see the non-standard hours coefficient is basically the difference between the two schemas that we could choose from. Okay? So we put our name in here. And literally all we do is click OK, and that record will be added. And we will have a new estimate inside of our project. Pretty sweet, huh? Let's look at that other, or that other option real quick. If we right-click right click and do insert estimate using the default schema we skip over choosing the totaling schema and go straight into naming the project here naming the estimate I'm sorry and we can see that it automatically used the standard which was the default so there we can see the difference between the two schemas clicking OK now we've got two new estimates in there Okay, so that's how easy it is to add an estimate, and we kind of saw why we would break it down using different estimates. Now, I also told you I would show you that how to change the name of an estimate, okay? What if we want to change the name of this construct new building? Now, there's an option set up where we create a new project. It automatically creates an estimate inside of the project with the exact same name as the project. So it's handy if you just want to use one estimate and not break it down, okay? There's also an option that we can turn that off. Give us a holler if you want to turn that off. But what if we want to rename this and call it something else? Or we misspelled something up here, which I could definitely do, right? So what if we want to change the name of this estimate right here? If we want to do anything to this estimate, we need to open it up and change it, right? So again, we can right-click on this, and we'll see our third option there is to change. Again, we could have double-clicked or hit enter if we wanted to, but let's hit change. Now, this is going to open up the updating estimate window, which is going to look just like the inserting estimate window, except it's going to have this line items tab here where we'll do the majority of our work. Okay, but you can see, again, we have multiple tabs up top. Let's swing over to the general tab, and this is where we've got the description. So I'm going to go 09 finishes, and now we can have a third estimate already we can see it's using the standard hours again click OK and now we've got three estimates alright so pretty easy way to create new estimates inside of a project and then we'll continue on the process of, of finding and adding line items um, in other videos alright so hopefully you enjoyed this video and got something out of it please review our other training videos and give us a call if you need any help at all we appreciate it have a fantastic day thanks so much